Yesterday afternoon, I was walking with my family in the city centre, and my son politely asked if he could have an ice cream. As he had used good manners, and we happened to be walking past a McDonald's, I said, why not? Let's all go have an ice cream. The first thing that we noticed when we entered was the noise. There were lots of customers inside, and lots of staff madly running about. There were children running around screaming, as well as some adults having loud conversations. Staff manners. After a couple of minutes, I got to the head of the line. A new cashier came to serve us, a young lady, maybe in her early twenties. On the front of the till, there was a picture of what we now know to be loaded fries. My wife, whose first language is not English, innocently asked how much they were. The cashier replied, how much is what? My wife pointed at the picture. The cashier replied, I can't see there. What are they? So I jumped in, not knowing what they were, but tried to describe them. I couldn't for the life of me think how to say avocado dip, that is, guacamole. Nor could I think of the word avocado. So I said something like, they're chips with like a green vegetable and sauce on top of them. She stared at me blankly and just said, what? I continued, there's one picture with chips and meat on top, and another with chips and mashed up green vegetable on the other. She said, you mean loaded fries. Which one do you want? I replied, the green one. She then replied with a sarcastic tone, You already told me that. I asked, but you just asked me which one I wanted. She said, I wanted to know what size you wanted, large or medium. I told her, large. She then added it to our order for a price of $7. I finally said, forget about it, we just wanted to know how much they were. She then rolled her eyes at me. Finally, I ordered three ice cream cones, which came to a total of $1.50. We gave her $2, and she gave us change of $1, 50 cents too much. Normally, I would always return extra change, but she had been quite rude and had walked away immediately, so I just kept it. I thought of it as a small bonus for putting up with poor service. Customers' manners. Warning, some graphic language was used by the customers, so please don't listen if you are easily offended. While we were waiting for our ice cream, we could overhear a lady at the front talking to the cashier. She raised her voice and said something to the effect of, How long do I have to fucking wait? Get your ass moving and get me my Big Mac. I thought it was a bit unnecessary, as I saw the staff member race off to see if the Big Mac was on its way. The rest of us had been waiting longer than her, literally only two or three minutes, so I don't see why she thought she needed her hamburger quicker than everybody else. The staff obliged and gave her the Big Mac, probably just to shut her up. Another minute went by, and I saw a girl who couldn't have been more than 10 or 11 years old at the head of the queue. She wanted a Happy Meal, or similar, and then suddenly raised her voice. Bloody hell, I just want a bloody Happy Meal. How fucking hard is that to get? I couldn't believe it. Other customers stood there in shock, too. I started talking to my wife about the decadence, moral degeneration or decay, of modern Australia. Ancient Rome is infamous for its decadence, which ultimately contributed to its downfall. Later on, my son went outside to play on the climbing equipment. They had recently renovated and had added a huge new climbing apparatus. Heaps of kids were out there playing, and I again saw the ten-year-old girl who had ordered the Happy Meal. She was demanding that a boy, get off the bloody slide or I'll fucking hit you. Know your place, bitch. I was again shocked. How has this girl been raised? Why don't her parents teach her proper manners? Good manners. Good manners are easy, but children will not learn them unless their parents teach them. Obviously, something is going wrong in our society where kids are growing up demanding food instead of asking politely. When I was young, if I spoke to an adult like that, I'm sure they would have at the very least yelled at me, if not worse. My parents' generation would have definitely been smacked if they spoke to their elders like that, and probably been sent to bed without any food. But even the adults I saw at McDonald's were acting very rude. The lady who demanded that the staff hurry up and get her Big Mac was literally only waiting for about a minute or so. What a time we live in, eh? Food that is cooked for her in less than a minute is something she feels she can get angry about. Pure decadence. I wonder how she would fare if she was in the plains of Africa hunting for her food. It seems like the more wealth we get, the ruder some of us become. Asking nicely seems to come second to demanding. My wife always talks about the recent wealth of many Chinese. It has resulted in a large number of rude, inconsiderate, rich people who think they can buy their way out of any problem. A group of individuals called Fuar Dai, second-generation super-rich brats, have been living it up, 
driving fast cars and treating normal people like crap. I think the main culprit of bad manners is bad parenting. If our children are raised well, they are far less likely to act like some of the people that I saw in McDonald's yesterday. Society has got to shift its focus away from the economy and back towards morals and ethics. Money only gets our society so far. It's how people treat each other that is the best indicator of a good society. It's no good Australia, or China, or USA, being financially well off if everyone goes around treating each other like dirt. It all begins at home. So if you have children, please teach them proper manners. If they say a bad thing to someone, teach them why it is bad and teach them an alternative way to express their emotions. Teach them to be good people.